when did you have the evidence that phase six you were really onto something when did you start to see the hockey stick of growth on socials or the interest in the workshops right. when did you kind of go like oh shit <clears> this is <laughs> it's happening i think um when we took the videographer to film all that content it was of majority fitness content at the time and as we started to post that over the years that's when it was like skyrocketing like people were picking up on it and were getting a lot of traction and then we kind of came up with like should we put out something that people can buy? You know, like we were really, we didn't have much confidence because mm -hmm. we've never like sold anything of our own before really. And um, we came up with like this program PDF. <laughs> and it was just super basic, like a seven day workout. And P I remember like the first time I connected it to like our Stripe account mm -hmm. and we woke up in the morning and we had money and I was like, fuck, like people <laughs> want it. People are buying it. It's yeah, great. Like I mean, we had a lot of interest and it was just from there, I think because of the confidence grew from there, it just kind of took off and it kept growing. Uh, our, our socials blew up fairly quickly. Like we're, mm. we're getting a lot of traction. And the, and the great thing was, is, you know, back in 2018, the content that you created, you didn't need to speak to the camera mm -hmm. really, you know, that, that's been relatively yeah. recent. The content that was really popular back then was, you know, um, highly engaging movements or beautiful cinematography um, <clears throat> around movements or things like that, or, or pictures. There was there was none of none of this content where you know people want to directly hear from you right then. Um, so that that's the type of content we focused on. So the great thing was is that people which was the plan people perceived us as, as we were from the US, which, mm -hmm. which was great. Um, so, you know, bef before that, it was like just following the statistics of where we were most popular, which was the US, you mm -hmm. know, um, which again helped with our, our eventual visa case as well. And like Steph said, the, the first 18 months of phase six, we we were putting everything back into it there was there was we weren't earning income mm -hmm. so you know you know we were asking for favors and all, all this type of stuff and <clears throat> what's the situation Steph was just talking about then was not long after we got denied the visa um and ended up blacklisted from the country at that time so it was a it was a pretty dark time in terms of um you know trying to figure out what to do but having that when we released the program and not earning having anything in the in the account or everything just going out <laughs> and one day Steph waking up and it was in London and she sat up from the bed and went to me we've got money mm -hmm. I was like what do you mean we have money <laughs> uh and and then and then we would just whatever income we generated we would we would put back into um phase six and the content we create to to create the more value than mm -hmm. we were ever to receive, right. you mm -hmm. know, so. And also um, like choosing to travel with that content. So like filming in a lot of different areas, mm -hmm. a lot of different gyms, making sure that people were aware of who we were and just being seen in multiple cities, I think was a big turning point too. And like seen doing the workshops everywhere. Like we'd always, always document everything mm -hmm. from the very beginning. And I'm so glad we did that because people were able to see from the very beginning up until now. And yeah, like the workshops in Australia, even those like in the different cities, Melbourne and Sydney. And we always wanted to stand out too and, and take our passion, you know, you know, cause the first memories of mine, uh, uh, you know, of, of cinema. Mm -hmm. So we always wanted our, our, our content to be of a high quality mm -hmm. or very cinematic. So even when we didn't have the money to invest really there was many times where steph and i had to choose a meal or our dinner over a videographer mm -hmm. you know um so we would always choose the videographer yeah. it'd be like <laughs> have to get that content. do we need to shoot content or, or can we eat no let's i guess it helped keep you lean at yeah least. <laughs> but we were very lean back very lean back then i think yeah. i was about 160 pounds or something like that so um yeah it, it was it was always making sure that Priority. we maintain a, a, yeah. a standard of content and I, th I do feel like, first off, people recognize that, mm -hmm. you know, pe people either consciously or subconsciously mm. recognize when you're investing in yourself and most importantly, investing in content that provides other people value. And they, they respect that and resonate mm -hmm. with that. Um, Especially back then, because it was mostly filmed on the phone. And that's stuff, a very like good point. That's something that stood out so we with like, you guys early was mm. like, um, 
firstly, not only is it cool because it's so different, right. and we should talk about that too, because there's a bunch of, you know, lifting weights and things like that, but you were doing something that was very fringe, new mm -hmm. and exciting, but it was filmed very cinematographically. And, right. and that, that definitely stands out. It cuts through a lot of the noise. That, mm -hmm. co that comes from all like our inspiration from, you know, great, great directors and um, cinematographers and things like that. So even, even in the content you see now, there's many inspirations drawn from like David Fincher, you know, like even the dojo is like the dojo is very he heavily inspired by like the fight club concept, mm -hmm. you know, cause that was a, that was a huge inspiration for me growing up. Um, the film just, just of how it changed my life in terms of how I'd perceive things. Um, and, and, you know, Steven Spielberg and JJ Abrams, you know, like getting lens flares and, uh, uh, Wes Anderson films, you know, like quirky things. So all, all these things are implemented. So we implemented pretty much everything that wasn't to do with fitness into our content. Mm -hmm. And that that made it stand out more. Oh, because and also we didn't follow fitness content or creators. We always followed like entrepreneurs. Mm. So we kind of followed their business models instead of like what everyone else was doing in the yeah. fitness industry. We took a lot of, well, Gary Vee mm. was a huge inspiration in the beginning of just like understanding social media content because I didn't have a social media account up until I met Steph, which was like, and it took me a year to get that. So, it was, you know, I've, I've only been on social media for like since 2017. Mm. Um, even when I had a personal account, I didn't understand why I would have a personal account, you know, um, unless I was, I was looking to provide value to people, you know. It, you can only do so much sharing photos with your, with your family yeah. and friends. You know? <laughs> um, so then we studied a lot back in the beginning, you know, Gary V's um, ideas and, and how to implement that into what we do, you know, gathered information for what was happening at Tesla at the time of, of how they were advertising or, or not advertising. Mm. It was all word of mouth, you know. Um, even We even have a lowercase i. So when, when, you, when you write out phase six, the, the i in phase six is always lowercase. It's like... Um, tribute to Steve Jobs, you know, mm. like the lowercase i on an iPhone and mm -hmm. things like that. So mm -hmm. just little things that we implemented, but we also wanted to implement like a, a punk rock kind of late eighties LA rock and roll style to it. Um, that was very nonconformist and unconventional. So, you know, even our, even our logo, um, is, is specifically designed and has tons of tributes to that. So, you know, the stamp is, is the Ramones stamp, which is, you know, originally the U.S. seal. And then we even have uh, the Guns N' Roses font mm -hmm. in phase, mm -hmm. you know. And then the six is, is our own. So it's, mm -hmm. it's like adding these little things. Even designing that, we wanted, we wanted something to um, people would wear that wouldn't even necessarily... It, it, it would transcend fitness. So, like, you know, you, you could have a musician wear it or something like mm -hmm. that. It wouldn't be, like, tied into fitness. Um, and as bold as like a Harley Davidson mm -hmm. logo type thing, you know, because everyone was doing very clean cut stuff with yeah. fitness. It was very like, uh, you know, like a, a symbol or, or like the letters were yeah. like, you know, so we wanted to be like bold and in your face. Well, um, and, and we were a media company, really. So, you know, <clears throat> we always had that in the back of our head. It's not just fitness. Yeah, we always wanted Phase 6 <laughs> to eventually be, you know, head into media you know, yeah. content strategies and content strategies and things like that 